the circle of light. The circle of light is you and me. It's where we can feel safe to be. The shame, the shadows can fall away. We question our thoughts, we change the way. When we change the way we see the world, we change the way we are. Good morning for those of you watching this later. This is the Circle of Light. My name is Bernadette Petrie, the Soul's Life Coach, creator of the Barefoot Century. And during this unprecedented time of not being physically connected with each other, I'm holding this circle every Sunday. Um, and you're willing to join in. You will need an hour. You will need a quiet place. And um, keep an open mind and let's see what happens. So just now I'm going to wait to see who's coming on to the live. Participation. We have somebody there, I think. I'm not sure if I'm seeing any chat, so I'll just wait. <clears throat> let me know if you're there, guys, and let me know where you are today as you take part in this circle of light. And let me know if you can hear me okay. <clears throat> so it's telling me there's a few people watching already, but it's not showing me who you are, <laughs> obviously. Oh, good morning, Sarah. Oh, good morning, sweetheart. So, so lovely to see you on the your name pop up. Sheena Skinner is here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing today? 19th of April. Oh, good morning, honey. <laughs> I'm having the most delicious lemon and ginger and ginseng tea. It's absolutely beautiful. just gonna play oh, oh it's coming it's playing Fiona McFadgen is watching good morning thank you thank you thank you oh you beautiful beautiful woman honestly you are all just stunning <gasps> Patricia Gibb hi Patricia my Saturday a.m. baking group decorating cakes this morning say hi and talk to you Yvonne. what hold on I'll just click here Say hi, Anne, Sarchi, Yvonne, Ali, Mona. I'm in North Berwick. <laughs> I'm not sure if that means that you're baking. Are they all here? Or I don't know what that means. <laughs> or. But, oh, how lovely. How lovely. Gorgeous to see you, Patricia. I think you're staying. I don't know if you're staying. Is everyone else staying? So, yeah. Gorgeous. The music I'm playing. In the background I want to give it a shout out because obviously copyright and everything but this artist is Lucinda Drayton her name is and her group is called Bliss and she's an extraordinary extraordinary uh, light worker and her music is such a big part of the work that I I use it in all of the circles so do look it up on um, iTunes and uh, if you love any of the songs you're gonna hear just um, know that a lot of them are from her. Julie Begbie is watching. I just left that group to do the meditation. Oh, I see. I see. Yay. <laughs> I am honoured. I am honoured. And it is such important work. We are, we have got an exciting, I'm really, uh, I'm going to challenge you this morning. We're going to go and create quite a, a reunion in your inner sanctuary this morning. So, um, but I promise you it's going to be beautiful. So, wonderful. Hmm. So whilst we wait, um, you won't really. You will need pen and paper this morning if you have it. Just a little thing, um, but we're going to spend you know a good forty minutes doing the meditation. So um, I'll explain that in a little minute. And whilst we're just waiting to see if anyone else is joining, I'll pull the five cards that we're going to maybe lean on to help us during the meditation. 
So I'm going to give them an extra good shuffle because I've been using them every day and I seem to be pulling the same cards. But I just think that's because we, you know, there's maybe something deeper that we need to go into. Oh, Claire Elizabeth Ward is watching. Oh, Kirsty Robertson is watching. Jamie Mayer is watching. Oh, hello, hello. We have a man in the circle. Goodness, Jamie, are you going to stay? It would be beautiful if you should have stayed. Um, so the session, we are going to be live, or we're going to be going into the meditation in about five, ten minutes. Or in about five minutes, we'll start the the pre-meditation work then we'll do the meditation from 10 to or just before 10 to and it will last till half past 11 so if you're not wanting to um take part in that and commit to that time guys sending you love and and have a wonderful day um and you can always catch it on the replay later okay but five cards you can watch the five cards just now number one I was on. I'm going on Instagram, Instagram Live every day, um, pulling these cards. And what I was talking about yesterday is pay attention to the colours, guys, because I know you can't see um, the words are back to front, but the colours are something that are really powerful. And I truly believe our soul is really tuned in to the colours. So if you're drawn to specific colours, or if you, when you meditate, you see certain colours, that's really powerful. You can always look up the meaning of the colour. Um, and obviously tune it if you aren't fully aware of the chakra colors and you keep seeing a different color when you're meditating you know if you're not familiar with the chakra colors go and look them up you can get them on anywhere on YouTube or on the Google the Google because um, they're really powerful and that's kind of showing you the area in your chakra system that you might be that might be just flowing more easily so this one don't be limited by your thoughts which is really tied in beautifully with what we're going to be doing today number two Focus on how you want things to be. Focus on how you want things to be. Really powerful for us during all this intense time of getting lots of um, bombardment of negative um, images and stuff like that. Um, it's important to know what's actually going on, but we also need to focus on how we want things to be and how we want to be. Number three, perfect. Always question the thoughts that drain you and yet again look at the colors question the thoughts that drain you number four ah oh, mm, again these are perfect for today make peace with who you are make peace with who you are not who other people want you to be but who you are and number Five, you always get to choose what you hear. So even during the meditation today, think about that. You always get to choose what you hear. Oh, Amanda. Hi, welcome, welcome. So lovely to know that you're here too, honey. So what I've just been doing, um, for those that have jumped on, before we start, I've pulled five cards. And these are really powerful cards or messages that you can use when we go into the meditation. So even if you want to write them down, um, please do. Number well, number five, going backwards, make peace with who you are. You always get to choose the better option. No, that's wrong. That's another one. You always get to choose what you want to hear. Question the thoughts that drain you. Focus on how you want things to be. I know you can't see the words um, because they're back to front, but I want you to see the colours. And don't be limited by your thoughts. If any of you struggle with that, I would highly recommend you look up byronkatie.com. Um, she has an amazing online free question, four powerful questions and worksheets and so many resources that are totally, totally free. It's a really valuable time to use to do that work. So if anyone really struggles with that, look up Baron Katie. So, okay, what we're going to do now, because I think we'll we'll get cracking with the pre-work bit. So just make sure you're really comfortable. If you've got um, a pen and paper to hand, that would be amazing. Um, and yeah, let's just. 
open it up. So I'm going to start by reading uh, the poem that I wrote that features on the little, that you've seen on the little video. The circle of light is you and me. It's where we feel safe to be. The shame, the shadows fall away. We question our thoughts, change the way. When we change the way we see the world, we change the way we are. We hold our hearts open and our minds reach new pathways. Our story is changed, our prayers center stage. So everything that's happening right now at some level, we have been praying for this situation to help us to become who we are. And um, I want to share an exercise with you that I learned a few years ago, which um, following on, I think you got the gist of the theme of last Sunday, and last Sunday was Easter Sunday. You knew it was only a week ago, it was Easter Sunday. And Easter Sunday rarely represents to me us stepping into the full truth of who we are and letting go of the suffering and the, all that stuff. And if you even just use the, the Easter Sunday three day thing as a metaphor, a very powerful metaphor, but letting go of the suffering and totally um, showing up in the world without all that baggage. And that's what uh, I think we are all being invited to do again and again and again. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath and I'm going to say, I'll say it first and then you're obviously going to repeat um, this with your own name. So I'm going to say my full name. So I am Bernadette Anne Petrie. Now I want you to say out loud your full name, including your, so that's your, your Christian name, if you've got a middle name and if you've got a married name or whatever it is, just say it out loud, pay attention to what happens in your body. So repeat after me, I'll say mine and we'll all say it together, you know, we can all do this together, no one will hear you. I am Bernadette Anne Petrie. So say your name. I am. Okay. Now, take another deep breath and say, and just say your first name. If you've got a middle name, you can say that too. So for me, it would be, I am Bernadette Ann. Pay attention to what happens in your body. So you say yours now. I am. Okay. Now the next one. Just your first name. I am. Bernadette. And you say your first name. I am. Mm. Now, dropping that entirely, repeat after me. I am. I am. I am. And let me know if you notice a difference in how you feel and what feels most empowered, what feels cleaner, what feels truer. So if anyone wants to share, please do. This is a part of the, exercise of the sequence where we can share. <laughs> you can share. So if anyone's totally confused by that and, is not, and it's missed it entirely, do let me know. Um, because some of these things obviously are probably a bit weird when I when we're not interacting together entirely. But just, uh, oh, gorgeous to see you, Lisa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So for those of you, just let me know how that felt. Did anyone notice a shift? For me, I notice a, I feel a big shift when I shift out of the story of all of the vibrations of the the names of the the the, the human labels, I guess. And when I drop all of those and I just own that I am, and all week on Instagram, I've been talking about just saying, you know, I am a human, you know, I am on a human adventure. And it's like we have to own our light. And that's what stepping into the circle of light is all about, owning your light. Huge difference between them. My whole name energy going down to my toes, just clear in the heart. I am the sun and the, I am. I'm in the heart and throat, last feels best, yeah. And this is what the whole point of today is about, for us to 
to just spend a bit of time really reconnecting. It's like we go back home, we reconnect with the truth. So we, you know, it's like you, you know, with little kids, you have to be reassured about who they are and how much you love them and everything else, and then they can go off and play and be themselves. This is what Source is inviting us to do, to come home so that we can remember the truth of who we are and then we can go out and be so present in this beautiful human experience. Good morning, Anne. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so for Lisa and Anne who just joined in, um, we've just about to start some of the work. Um, that bit you can go back and watch later. Um, so the next part is, uh, we were just doing the exercise of repeating our first names our full name and then dropping it right down so we end with the I am. It's really powerful. Um, so now I want to share with you an exercise that I do every single night, but I only started to do this 10 years ago. I started to do it uh, almost from the moment I went into the Priory. I actually um, insisted, <laughs> I my the, the, everything, I, what I was shouting to or telling my family I need it. I said, I need a book, I need a book, I need a book, I need a journal. So I went into the Priory armed with a journal um, and I started to make a note of every, and I started just to write. And I've still got that journal about the things in my life that I appreciated. Um, because I just had, it was almost like the blinkers had been taken off and I could suddenly see this world in the way that Dorothy did in all its terror. But it's something that I have to work on because I forget and I fall asleep all the bloody time. So I'm not sitting here saying that I'm awake all the time. I know I am not. Um, but th So this exercise is really important. So every night before I go into bed, I draw my the what you'll recognize as part of what I do, a flower, and I write into each petal six things. So uh, my petal's got six things, six petals. So I write six things that I deeply um, grateful for or can appreciate or I'm not one I, I'm not I'm choosing not to take for granted or that I've noticed or that I've loved or that I've cherished whatever word works for you but you're just starting to you're just in a thankful you're thankful for it in your life you can give thanks for it so it starts to change how our brain is always looking for what's wrong to really starting to get our mind to tune in to what's right with our world. Okay, so this is really, really important work. So if you want to just now, you don't have to draw a flower, whatever you might want to do, um, you can just list them, whatever. I, I, I say to people, most of us will have had a doodle that we've done a long part of our lives, that we will have done it. Uh, you can see here, this is actually their, uh, a copy of the original flower that became the logo at the birth of the century. Um, and so I've been draw I was drawing a doodle, a flower doodle, for as long as I can remember. It used to be all, if you look at my notebooks at school, I'm just constantly drawing a flower. So do whatever it is that gives you something to fill in. And that's why I like the flower, because it's you can fill it in with the good things in your life. So just now, before we go into the meditation, take a deep breath. And in the midst of all of this shift and change and everything suddenly being confined, what six things can you truly, truly say that you are grateful for because of this experience? What can you give thanks for today? Or what are you, or what are you no longer taking for granted today? Oh, we've got some newbies coming in. Caroline, Mark, Claire Gordon, and Atkinson. Mark, weird, I know, but you were, I was had a dream last night and you were in that dream. Strange, it was about the century. There were, it was very weird. So you were obviously mentally, I'm tuning in, or you were, we were tuning in. So welcome to the Circle of Light, guys. In a moment or two, we're going to be actually starting the meditation. It will last until half past 10. So if you want to stay, please do. Um, but if you're just popping in to see what's on for a few minutes, you know, I'm sending you love and, um, but I, in a moment or two there won't be any interaction because I'll just be taking people deeply into the meditation. Okay, so for those of you who've been here from the beginning, how are you getting on with writing those six things? Let me know how you've got on and if anybody wants to share anything, please do because I bet you what one appreciates will all appreciate. These are some of mine from, from yesterday, if it'll help. I wrote down, I really appreciate my washing machine and my line. I appreciate, I love, I love my bicycle. We went out on a great bicycle ride yesterday. I really appreciate that we have plenty of French fresh food. You know, we are still able to get fresh food. 
I so appreciate technology to be able to speak with dear old friends. I was speaking to one of my oldest friends yesterday and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, and I really appreciate this gift of time that I have with my kids that they wouldn't be here at this. They wouldn't be here if it wasn't for COVID-19. And I'm so thankful for, for um, the air that I breathe. When you think about everyone at the moment who is really struggling um, in the hospitals for the breath and I, you know, I just have it in abundance and it's free. So if anyone else wants to share before we dive back in, please do. Otherwise, I'm going to take it as a sign that we're just purely good to go. Okay. So... <clears throat> To explain to you what we're going to do, so for those of you that have been with me every week for the last four weeks, you'll know that we've gone into our own inner sanctuary and we've, that is a space that has been locked in your mind. Uh, oh, here we go. Sorry. I'll come back to that. I just want to read what Shuna's saying. Today I'm grateful for family, nature, healthy food in the fridge, sunshine, to meditate with Brenda in the circle, mine and my family's health. Mm, so beautiful. I mean, food in the fridge. I mean, we don't really need much more than that, do we? Oh, good morning, Katrina. Good morning. Okay, so, so I say for those of you that have been watching for the last um, four weeks, you know that we're going to go into our inner sanctuary. So what I need for the for the rest of the session is I want you to you're going to close your eyes right down. You don't need to comment anymore. Um, there's going to be no interaction. And for the, I know that some people because this is a live event, people can be coming jumping in and out at different times. So if that is something that you think might bother you, if you want to open your eyes during the meditation, for example, to see what you know, maybe turn the phone slightly so that you're not getting distracted by maybe if you're seeing somebody else's name pop up, or just cover your phone. And because really it's an auditory uh, thing that we're, we're going to experience. If you have headphones pop those into your ears. I've been getting great feedback from people saying that that's really, and I, you know, when you, it's going straight in so that my voice is going straight into your head and that the music is going straight into your head. Okay, so I think we're just going to go for it and um, yeah, there's going to be a sweet reunion. I'm going to be closing my eyes down because it helps me to concentrate and to go deeper inside. I'll open them occasionally. So I invite you all now to take a deep breath through your belly. Close down your eyes. Tune in and connect to your body. When we're in our head and when our eyes are looking externally, we're not as aware of what's going on with our body. So right now, just really start to notice what's going on on the inside. How relaxed does your body feel? Maybe give your shoulders a little shrug. Hmm. Make sure you are fully comfortable. If you want to stay awake for this the whole time, maybe prop yourself up or make sure you're sitting up. Lying down, of course, is optional, uh, or is, is totally fine. But if you want to sort of imagine you're in the circle, maybe sitting up will be better. Okay, so taking another deep breath into your belly. Pay attention to where in your body you might feel slightly tight or tense and go straight to that. Put all your focus into that. Hmm. And now I want you to bring your attention to your toes. And repeating the words earlier that we did at the beginning, I want you to say through every part of this, I am. So bring in all your attention to your toes. Repeat, I am. And feel the awareness and light of who you are flooding through your body. Feel the light around your ankles. I am. The fronts of your legs and the backs of your legs. The front of your knees, the back of your knees. 
I am. And the front of your thighs, the back of your thighs, in through your internal organs, sitting deep in your root chakra, breathing in through your belly, I am. In through your stomach, all of your organs, up into your chest, around your heart, into the center of your heart. Breathe deeply and repeat, I am. Feel that awareness now grow up into your throat, your chin, your mouth, your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, your forehead, above your head. I am. Feel that light and awareness hovering above your head. Feel your energy field expanding as you own the truth of who you are. I am. Feel that light moving down the back of your head. Your entire neck is supported. Feel it moving down your vertebrae. I am with every single vertebrae. You feel taller, stronger. Feel it at the base of your back. Breathe in and own, I am. Feel it in your fingertips. Feel your fingers expanding with this energy. Your wrists, your arms, your elbows, your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders. Every single part of your body is awake to the truth of who you are. The I am is the truth of who you are. How different does it feel to connect to the true essence of who you are? And now I want you to imagine and see connected all across the country and the world a circle, a circle of light, beings sitting together, energetically, completely connected. We have people in North Berwick, we have people in all parts of Scotland, we have people down in the south of England, we have people as far away as Australia. People will be watching this later from other corners of the earth, all different parts of the country. And each of us will feel connected in this moment as we allow the circle to expand and we sit in celebration of who we are, pure beings of light on a very human journey. So see and feel the expansiveness of that loving energy connecting us all and everything, whether people watch this later or years to come it will all be happening right now we will all be feeling this connection right now and so now I want you to imagine that collectively we are all in this circle but on an individual basis I invite you to allow your awareness to step out of your body Feel yourself standing up. Feel yourself turning around and looking at your human form. And feel the love that you have for this human and this human identity that you've chosen for this earth adventure. And maybe place your hand on her cheek or his cheek. Give that being a kiss. Give that human doing the very best your blessing and go on your own adventure 
into the sanctuary. Quantum leap of time where no human rules exist and everything is possible and deep healing is guaranteed. So in front of you now, I want you to imagine that an archway, a golden archway has emerged. And turning away from the body sitting in your home, I invite you in your mind's eye to step through this archway. And it'll take a few seconds for you to walk through it. But when you do, I want you to imagine that you've arrived in a beautiful plain of grass and all you see around you are many, many archways and many beams of light collectively stepping onto the plain of grass together. Everyone who is in this circle is together on this plane. And pay attention and see the smiles of awe and bits of nervousness emanating. But this feels already very familiar. I want you to imagine that you are in your bare feet and you step onto this warm grass and you move to form a circle in the middle. And although not physically touching, the connection in this beautiful circle feels very, very real. So just allow yourself to sit down in this grass for a moment and collectively we make the intention. Help me to remember who I am. Allow me to see parts of me that are hiding in the shadows, that need my love and care, that need me to bring them into the present truth of who they are so that they can be fully present in their beautiful lives that they are doubting at this time. And now for each and every one of us in the circle, we get up onto our feet and we each become aware of another portal that has appeared in the center of the circle one for every single one of us and we allow ourselves collectively to walk towards these portals and this is another quantum leap that we are about to take we are about to step in to a very own incredibly unique inner sanctuary a building in a beautiful place that has been waiting for us our entire lives, that resides in our mind, in our soul, in our heart. Every single desire and every single need that we've ever had has created this beautiful sanctuary. So as we each step through the archway, we become aware of the change in nature and your favorite type of environment is what you'll be stepping into. So it may be a forest or a beach. It could be by a lake. Only you will know what you need. So see the terrain below your feet changing. And you have to walk on this new surface. Pay attention to the smells, the sounds. Maybe reach out and touch some greenery, bring it to your noses. We are all on our own now, but we feel incredibly alive. And we know that we are safe here. 
And once again, I ask you to become aware of a pathway appearing in front of you. You start to follow that pathway, knowing that it is taking you to your own inner sanctuary. And allow yourself to walk, breathing in all of this incredible air, breathing in all of the support from this natural environment as you go. And now you see your sanctuary. Only you will know its shape. Only you will know what yours is made of. But trust that it's what you need. Become aware of the handle. Become aware of your hand on the handle and turn the door. Turn the doorknob and allow yourself to step inside. Mm. Pay attention to all of the interior specifications, all the materials that are used and close the door behind you. Mm. And doesn't it feel amazing to be in your very own inner sanctuary? A place that is locked in your mind, that only you have the key to. A place where you are safe to sit and be. So look around your beautiful sanctuary. Pay attention to the design that you've chosen. What does it say about you? What does it show you what matters? And allow yourself now to let go of the door handle and step into the centre of your sanctuary. And where you will find a very comfortable place to sit and wait. And allow yourself now to sit down and close your eyes and take another deep breath. And I want you to repeat after me. I am home. I am ready. I am. And suddenly you become aware of a beautiful glowing light surrounding you. And right in front of you appears a being, a ball of light that is so, so beautiful. And you come face to face with your eternal self. The version of you that is not limited to anybody, that has been on this earth many, many times before. And feel the love that emanates from this beautiful ball of light towards you. Allow your heart to open and receive this unconditional love. And this ball of light, this being, moves ever closer to you until it is in and around and surrounding you and you remember that you are this ball of light. You are now home. This is where it all began and this is where it will end. And as we start our human lives, we start at zero on the human plane. And I want you to imagine now as yourself as a little newborn baby. And as you do, you become aware of a baby sitting to the left of you. And then I want you to imagine yourself at the age of seven. And as you do, you see the perfect image of yourself at seven. And then, focus on being 14 
and your 14-year-old self appears in the circle. And then 21, 28, 35, and depending on what age you, you are, you may need to continue on. So continue, if it's not a seven year gap, just allow it to continue to the age of your present self. If you're like me, older than 35, I will continue to 42, and then to my present day self of 51. If you are older, continue in seven year increments until you get to your present age. So just breathe in and once again, knowing your own unique age, work from zero in seven year increments up to the present day and see a beautiful circle forming. Now I want you to tune back in to what it feels like to remember you are a being of light. Tune back into that feeling of that ball of light occupying the body that stepped into the sanctuary. And how much love you feel for all of these parts of you. And you feel all worries that you had, even up until this morning, melting away. You see yourself in so much light and clarity. And you know that this is where the real reality resides. And you feel your inner wisdom strengthening every single cell of your body. And she says to you now, or he says to you now, help them to remember. It is your responsibility to reconnect them with what you feel right now. And so you turn to your right and the version of you from seven years past in those increments, for me it will be my 42 year old self. So whatever it is for you, see yourself at that age and remember a time, a particular time when you were far from grateful and that everything seemed totally hopeless or maybe you just are in your head or you can just you just know there's a scene a time from you at that age or whatever age it is for you in your circle of sevens and connect hold hands with that part of you and look deeply into their eyes. And tell them, I am here to help you remember. I know you are worried about this now, but I promise you, it will pass. And although there will be hurdles to overcome, if you hold my hands now, you will feel the truth of who you are and it will help you to remember. And feel your hands connecting. And feel her awakening to the truth of her I am. And see how it changes that younger part of you. And now see the scene change. So that younger part of you 
moves into her life as it was then, awake, grateful, present. And then ask her to play her part and tell her, I need you to go back in time, seven years. Another part of us needs to remember, share with her what I have shared with you so that she can awaken to the beauty of her life right now. So that younger part of you turns again to her right. For me, it's 35. Whatever it is for you, pay attention. Think about what age you are. Think about what was troubling you in that moment. An image will flash up. Share with that part of you by holding hands. Let that awareness through their body and it's almost as if a ball of light has stepped into their world in that moment and awakened them to the truth. And again, we're not promising that there will not be things to overcome, but you are galvanizing and reminding them of the beauty of who they truly are and their I am-ness. So see yourself, whatever age you're at, in that seven-year cycle, relaxing, being galvanized and strengthened in this awareness. And most of all, present in their beautiful life as it was then. And suddenly in that time, in each of these seven year increments, you will see and become aware of the color that was in your life that your mind would try to stop you from remembering. You suddenly see a beautiful day in your life, beautiful, beautiful days in your life that have been foggy in your memory. And allow yourself to breathe that all in. And then once again, with a nod, that younger part of you moves on to the next. So moving on now. And keep doing that for the next few moments until you are that baby. attention to the parts of you that are in that circle as you go through the lower ages of your life. Two in your twenties, your teenage years, your seven-year-old. And as you think of every age, you see yourself becoming more present and alive. Continue your conversations. Continue the healing. The 
There is no rush. Give each one the time that they need. Tell them all about your life now. Tell them who they would be. And tell them how much you love them. see scenes from each age that previously had a tinge of sadness transforming into a celebration of being a spiritual being on a human journey where nothing will ever be able to stop you from returning back home and remembering that you chose to come here that this is an adventure that you wouldn't miss for the world. Nothing has ever gone wrong. Everything that has been happening has been happening for you. And feel the lightness shifting and the energy shifting in all of those ages. beauty of your youth, unburdened with doubting who they are. Feel the wind and the sun on your face as you did as a child. And finally, as a baby, connect to that deep knowing that you had deeply in your soul um, completely imprinted upon uh, this human experience as yet. How close to the ball of light you really felt because you oozed it with every cell of your body and you shone and shone and shone. And now I want you to imagine that you're all now connected in this circle. Your eternal self, your present day self, down through all the seven year increments, right down, right down until you are a young seven year old child beside a baby, beside your eternal self and feel the power in that circle and now one by one the seven-year-old picks up and embraces the baby and the energy and love that was within that baby shines out from the seven-year-old and the seven-year-old steps into the consciousness of the 14-year-old and the, all the adventure and optimism and full loving consciousness shines even stronger in that 14-year-old and she merges now, he merges with the 21-year-old and keep going until you are at your present day self, spending precious moments feeling the shift as you move and absorb all of those energies, 28, 35. And once again, you find yourself standing alone, but so
so connected to every single and all the potential of who you are and your whole essence revitalized and allow yourself to stand up in your century move your arms and start to move your body as you celebrate all of who you are you remember the I amness of who you are feel yourself moving to the music And once again, feel yourself expanding so that you remember that you are your century. The century lies within you. Feel the building shrink inside of you until it's a tiny dot in your mind where it will stay and you can visit it any time because it's inside of you. And allow yourself to step through that golden archway once more so that once again you are reunited with all the beings that came into this circle and feel all of that healing coming with you and all the color in your life return to your mind, to your memories. And all judgment of who you are has disappeared. And you connect and reach your hands out in this circle now and connect energetically with all the other beings of life. And as you hold hands, a powerful surge of love reaches out from the center and covers the entire universe. You are beings of light and you have just changed everything because you see that everything has changed. And you are the light of this world. Own it. Be it, believe it.
and are letting go energetically, physically of the hands of the circle. Step back through the archway. Feel the awareness dropping deep into your body. Feel the physicalness of who you are in this lifetime. Give your shoulders a little shake, wiggle your fingertips and open your eyes. Thank you for being willing, vulnerable and courageous to be in the circle. I hope you now see your life with the true colour that it is. And if you jumped onto this a bit later, you can watch the full recording or listen to the full recording later on the Bernadette Petrie YouTube channel and the Barefoot Sanctuary, it's kind of the Barefoot Sanctuary channel, but it will be on the Barefoot Sanctuary page here when I share it on the live feed as a recording. So if you did miss any of it and you're if you've come in, I see some names now, some beautiful souls. Oh my goodness, hello. Um, sending you all love. But if you came in halfway through, because obviously I've had my eyes closed um, and you didn't get to take part in it, I really invite you to take part in it. Oh, thank you. And for anyone else that wants to share anything that's been here from the beginning, now is your time. If anyone has any questions, please do fire away and ask them. Oh, wonderful, Sheena. <laughs> it's really powerful to go back and uh, revisit all stages of who we are because in my experience, we tend to have this. There'll be a moment, a scene of our lives at a certain age when it was really challenging and we, if we go back, we can transform that because it won't change what's happened in the past, but it will change so we are back present again with our lives and that's the that's that's our secret to stay as present with who we are in this human experience present with who we are the i amness of who we are in this incredible human experience oh you're welcome sarah you're welcome okay my loves i am going to finish by reading uh a poem that I wrote a wee while ago and it just feels quite apt to close the session it's called chose to stay I chose to stay I now know why I was born this way but consciously bravely boldly I chose to stay and rewrite my own effing DNA I write my own new story through the lens of all my angels and guides, through the love from the galaxies and stars, through the lens of love and trust, and through this lens, rewrite my story, I must. I see more clearly the suffering that I have caused, the joy that my soul knows, and the cleansing that must pass. The soul has an agenda, and of that it is very clear it didn't come here to play in the shadows and hang out in fear. The soul came here to stand in the front stern and seek out new horizons, to taste the aches and the pains, but to choose to get right back in the game. It came to live courageously, not to shrivel and crawl. It came because to come here is a fucking epic ball, feeling it all feeling it all <laughs> so there we go oh you just i'm just reading some of the comments here sort of don't just go off a belly dancing crawl awesome fiona morris that, that sounds really good um big hugs to you do watch the replay so sending my love my deepest gratitude for enabling me to do to 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 make me to step into the work that i love and cherish doing 
and thank you all for being bright lights. I've seen everybody's name there and I send you all my deepest love and anyone else watching later, my love to you. God bless, bye. The Circle of Light. The Circle of Light is you and me. It's where we can feel safe to be. The shame, the shadows can fall away. We question our thoughts, we change the way. When we change the way we see the world, we change the way we are.